to their 10th grade. Uh, once again, I'm here with a fellow Penn Hills graduate, mm -hmm. our athletic, athletic director, Mrs. Strauss, um, uh, trailblazer uh, within women. Um, there's only a few, first woman athletic director in Penn Hills history, and only one of a few in the Whippeals. So um, uh, that's amazing work, Mrs. Thank Strauss. You. Uh, if you want to kind of give me a little bit of what year you graduated from Penn Hills. Graduated in 2007. 2007. I was here. I'm getting old. <laughs> um, and when you were in high school, uh, did you kind of know that you wanted to be an ath athletic director? I know you were in sports. Was, is that yeah. was something you were driven to, or did you have another dream I, of some sort? I kind of had an idea. I wanted to do something in, in athletics. Okay. I actually was a student assistant in the athletic office for Neil Gordon, who oh. was the athletic director. Okay. So I got, a, I got a sense of what it looked like okay. at, a, at the high school level. So when you, did you go to college for, do you have to go to college to be an athletic director? Typically, you do need a bachelor's degree. In, um, so I went to Juniata College and played volleyball there. Okay. And my bachelor's was in sport marketing and management and a minor in communication. Okay, so the sports management, you can then be an athletic director or yep. do you have to do any other training from that? I did get a master's degree as well in sport management. Okay. That's a bonus. Most jobs require that bachelor's degree, but the master's can get you a little more specialized in that field. Okay. Is there anything that you would have kind of done differently as you were moving into that field or experiences you wish you had um, along the way? I did a lot of internships in college, which I think were helpful to give me a sense of all the different athletic jobs. Right. I did some minor league baseball. I did some fundraising experience. I worked in the athletic office in college, too. Right. I'd love um, you to hit on that because I speak a lot about job shadowing and internships. So in just on a broad sort of spectrum, can you explain sort of the experience and why it was so important to getting you to this and, and validating that this was a good career for you. I think you get a sense in those internships like what you like and what you don't like. And you can bring pieces of those internships with you to future jobs. So there's things I learned in minor league baseball with running events that I could apply to this athletic director right. job. I worked in division one athletics. I coached volleyball at the Naval Academy. I coached volleyball at the division three level at Juniata. So I pulled stuff from even from those two experiences too to try to make this job at Penn Hills have a really good experience for the students right. and the fans, or how are things work right. organizationally. And you know, this is the career that I want to do. The yeah. money I'm spending in college was well worth it. Because yep. um, a lot of people, when we walk in, I explain a lot of times, things are going to change. Um, and you can do internships for a few months, and you realize, OK, I don't love this, so I'm going to try something else. Correct. And try another internship. And then you've eventually, it can lead you to what you really do right. love. And, and the job shadow you had in the high school sounds like it was priceless because mm -hmm. it was like, that's something I want to do. And I always say, you don't have to do a day or a week or a month. You can just put a few hours in with some of the uh, careers that you may be interested in. And that will either kind of push you into that direction or say, right. something I do not want to do. Yeah, if there's any students that want to learn more about being an athletic director or working in sports, we could, we'll accept some student assistance can learn how to work in the office. Maybe we can help you help at some events, oh, come to some games. So if anyone's interested, you hear that? <laughs> let us know. <laughs> well, I appreciate your time and uh, speaking yeah. to us as a 10th grade class. And um, again, another familiar face, another Penn Hills grad that did, has been doing wonderful work. Um, a lot more to come. Thank you. Thank you.